Hi, welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. My name is Joanna and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Peak Lab. In this video, I'll be analysing a past year examination question from the topic of magnets. I've placed this question in a handout and you may download it for free by clicking on the link in the description box below. So let's get started. So there are four metal bars over here, Q, R, S and T, and they are hung from a string as shown below. As for this question, I would like to focus on part B first. So the question is asking, which of the bars is or are definitely magnets? Students, especially when they are newer to the topic of magnets, they think that you can identify a magnet when they see attraction. So they tend to answer S and T for this question. As S and T moved towards each other, showing that they have attracted. However, we cannot say that S and T are definitely magnets because they have attracted. And remember, magnets can also attract magnetic materials. Therefore, there is a chance where T could actually be a magnetic material. Hence, we cannot say that T is definitely a magnet. So, when can we say an object is definitely a magnet? We can say an object is definitely a magnet when we observe for repulsion. So, what do we need to look out for when we want to confirm something is definitely a magnet? We need to look out for repulsion. Now, why repulsion? Because only magnets with what kind of poles facing each other can repel? Yes, like poles. Only magnets with like poles facing each other can repel. Hence, in this diagram here, which two bars here are moving away from each other? R and S. Since R and S moved away, they have repelled. And hence, we can confirm that they are definitely magnets. Why? As only like poles of two magnets facing each other can repel. So that actually answers part B and C. Which of the bars is or are definitely magnets? It is R and S. And how do we explain our answer? We say that only like poles of two magnets facing each other can repel and will move away from each other. As R and S moved away from each other, R and S are magnets. Now, how about bar Q? If you look at Q closely, Q is not moving away, neither is it moving towards. In fact, there is no interaction at all, which means it did not attract nor repel. Hence, is it a magnet? No. Is it a magnetic material? No. Remember, if it was a magnetic material, it would have been attracted to bar R which is a magnet. Since Q did not get attracted to R, it has to be a non-magnetic material. So let's look at part A. Which of the bars is or are made of copper? Let's think about this. Copper, is it a magnetic or non-magnetic material? Some students tend to get confused with this as they remember the magnetic materials as S, I, N, C. And what does S, I, N, C stand for? S stands for steel, I stands for iron, N stands for nickel, and C. What does C stand for? Is it copper? No, it's not copper. It's actually cobalt. Not copper. So do take note, copper is a non-magnetic material. And which bar is a non-magnetic material? Yes, it is bar Q. 
Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you want to check out the other videos we made, click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye!